Hey guys, what's going on? It's Breathing Bricks here, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, all of my customs uh, that I've made throughout the span of the channel, and a few of them I made beforehand. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is showing you my progression through uh, the years of making customs that I've been making customs, and um, show you guys uh, how I went from not so great to a uh, much better customizer. Uh, so first off, before I start with these figures that you see in front of you here, here are some of my non-clone troopers and also some uh, clone troopers that were pretty old and one was a fail. So this clone, I was just making a commando and I basically sharpied the heck out of this one clone uh, and shaved off the head. So, this one's pretty old, um, I think I made this in third grade, so really long time ago, um, yeah. Uh, then there's this guy, which I was trying to make a clone with uh, nail polish, out of all things, and that did not go so well, <laughs> so uh, that was kind of a fail. Here's another really old custom. Commander Fox, uh, also probably around third grade, maybe a little later. Alright, and then these are just some non-clone, non-clones. Um, Old Republic Trooper, which I think is relatively nice. Uh, Stormtrooper guy, uh, says Sniper, and uh, Mandalorian and Darth Vader. So, alright, let's move on to the clone troopers. So, starting off, I will grab this. So, the first one is another older uh, clone, and this is actually a heavy trooper. Uh, clone Army Customs uh, used to sell a heavy trooper, and this was my kind of uh, copy of that and I sharpied it up and tried to make it look pretty similar to the Clone Army Customs one and I think that was in around 2010 there's also a video on YouTube of the uh, trooper I was copying, I can link it in the description here is a custom clone assassin trooper I kind of uh, did this mouthpiece like Darth Vader. I think he looks pretty cool, but uh, he was pretty old custom of mine, and you can see it's pretty sloppy. A lot of the paint work. He is supposed to look battle damaged. Um, that's what like that is up there. But uh, yeah, and he has a jetpack, so pretty cool. But as you can see, I started off pretty sloppy. So. Here's this uh, airborne trooper before they had airborne helmets. So, anyways, with this guy, I actually made uh, I made him, and then a few years later, I touched him up. So he doesn't look so bad, but uh, yeah, some of the paint job was kind of sloppy. And whoops, he was originally a clone gunner. I used to have a ton of clone gunners, so I just you know, use what I had. Alright, the next is pretty sloppy. Uh, as you can see, I uh, was uh, not so good at cutting out metal at this time. This piece fell off here. Uh, but I, also, actually, with this guy, I retouched him up, and I have two videos on him, one with the original version and one with the touched-up version. So I kind of just re-outlined everything, black paint, uh, and repainted some of the lines, but he still looks pretty bad. But um, it's good to see, you know, where people start off, and this is how I started off. So I think I actually might have made this guy before the Airborne Trooper. Okay, so moving along to my clone medic. Um, here he is. Uh, he is a battle damaged clone medic, and it's pretty ironic because he is a 
uh, injured clone medic. As you can see, he lost a hand. And I was uh, going for a burnt look, because I actually used a flame to burn his helmet. After I painted the whole figure, I started burning it up. I don't know if it was the best idea, but uh, I wanted to go for a, a uh, injured look and kind of looked like he got scraped up by an animal or something there. And that's blood and, yeah, all gross and stuff. Alright, the next clone is my custom Commander Fives. So, uh, this is the hardest part to paint, and I don't think I did that bad of a job, but, um, uh, the paint I used wasn't so great. So, yep, and a piece just fell off. So that's what happens when you have old customs. Pieces fall off sometimes. Just gotta glue them back on, so you can see that fell off. So I'll have to put that back on after the video. Alright. Here's my Commander Devis. This piece fell off and I can't find it. <laughs> but I was going for like a more realistic look without the holes in the legs. I think I uh, started to really progress here. Uh, I think I did a really good job with this for being a beginner in customizing. So, yep. Alright, moving along, here's my Galactic Marine. So this guy, I think I could have pulled off uh, much better, but I just, my paint wasn't so great. So you can see the legs, really bad paint job. Uh, well, actually, I don't even know if it was my paint job. Oh, well, what I did do was, uh, the legs were gray, and I had wanted them uh, to be gray, and then I changed my mind, and I wanted them to be white. So I repainted them, and yeah. Uh, and then, uh, these are kind of oversized and weird looking, but I don't know. I think the, like, metal on him is just really nice. I think I did a really good job, and you can see it's actually a piece of metal right on the chest plate right there. So, I think overall this is not a bad figure. My next is uh, Denal, Clone Trooper Denal. Uh, so, yeah, pretty generic custom. I think I did an alright job. Some of the paint's a little sloppy, but this is actually a Gregor backpack uh, for this Gregor over here. Yeah, so I got a Clone Army Customs backpack for this Gregor, which you'll see in a minute, and I put that backpack on Denal. So, moving along. This I think I did a really nice job with. Um, this is my Kashyyyk Trooper Sniper. And just overall, I think I did a really good job. And this uh, used to be my most viewed video, the video on this guy. So uh, I think that's clearly saying something. Because, uh, yep, I think I really started to progress in my custom customizing skills here. Alright, the next... Uh, this I kind of based off a noble artist design. Um, it was a uh, one of Mace Windu's 187th Legion troopers. So, uh, yep, pretty cool looking custom. I would definitely like to make some more of these, but in phase two, I think those would look really cool. All right, so this is the Gregor. A lot of people know about him and have asked to purchase it got some pretty high offers actually it's pretty crazy um, yeah but I think I did a really good job with him especially on the helmet body uh, a lot of people don't really like the body but the whole point is that he's supposed to look like he's battle damaged and really been in a firefight so alright the next is my uh, Airborne Trooper, Horn Company Airborne Trooper. Really simple paint job. Um, just repainted over the orange lines and added some extra details. But overall, pretty nice custom. 
Uh, still not quite at the level where I am now, uh, but yeah, pretty nice. Alright, so this I actually won in a Noble Artist contest, except I didn't win the completed figure. I won a battle pack, so he makes these battle packs where uh, it's just the normal metal pieces and I myself painted them and glued them on to this figure. And uh, yeah, so that's where this came from. So it's a really, really simple figure, but um, I just kind of wanted to demonstrate uh, what you could do with the Noble Artist's uh, uh, armor battle pack for clone troopers. And that uh, sniper was not made by me, that was made by the Noble Artist. Okay, so here is my flamethrower trooper. Pretty, uh, this is where I started to really step up my game with customs. Uh, this was a really creative custom also. Uh, and especially because there's actually lights on the back. So, it is a light up minifigure and the gun also lights up. Except I think the batteries ran out, so. Yep, so this is my flamethrower trooper. If you guys are interested in seeing any other videos on these, let me know, and I can do that. Alright, so here is my clone gunner. Uh, I think that I actually did a pretty good job with this guy. Uh, I did enter him into Noble Artist's uh, clone gunner contest, but uh, he didn't win anything. I did a pretty good job, I believe, but uh, yeah, and also this guy's completely concept art, so he's not actually a real figure or custom or whatever character. Okay, so here is my Commander Thire. Uh, he was seen in the first episode of the Clone Wars TV series. And, uh, yeah, I th think I did a really good job with him. It's a lot of detail. Uh, even has a little insignia over there. And, uh, yeah, I think I did a really good job with him. Here is my, uh, I believe this is Jack. Also from the first Clone Wars episode. There are his insignias. He also has a little pauldron. Whoops. There goes another piece. So I'm going to have to glue that on. Yeah, you should, uh, I would recommend getting some really nice, good super glue, because sometimes it's not so great. So you can tell. Because uh, two pieces have fallen off already in this video. But, uh, yeah. So I believe that's Jack, and then this should be Rise. Also in the same episode, and there's the custom backpack I gave him. I did a pretty good job with him. And here is my uh, custom commander, who I just completely made up, uh, so not a real character, but I think he's pretty awesome custom. I have a ton of detail on this guy. I think I did a really good job with him. I kind of went with like the older style custom um, when I made him. Here is my uh, blue arc trooper. Also, uh, another really nice custom that I did. Very clean uh, and just a really nice figure.
here is the next figure, which is my shock trooper. And his antenna actually just flew off. <laughs> a ton of pieces are falling off. Well, I guess only three, but still it's a lot. Uh, usually they aren't falling off this much, or this often, but... Also think I did a good job with him. And, uh, here is my, whoops, my printed Commander Cody. So, I designed the torso on paint.net, and the legs and the arms, but I mostly just focused on the torso. And I basically just tried to make it as movie accurate as possible. So, if you compare this with the actual Commander Cody images from the movie, um, it's almost identical. Uh, and all the um, markings and scratches are also accurate. And then the arms are just pretty generic. And the legs are... actually have some markings right down there that are pretty accurate. And then this is Aerolite Helmet and Visor. And finally, my most recent custom is my Star Corps Commander. Just kind of shows, um, yeah, it's just really clean cut. It's a good paint job. And, uh, yeah, you can see how I've really progressed since the beginning. So, if you want, just show kind of like similarities between, or compare these. Like, uh, this is a more recent, and this is a older one. As you can see, I really wasn't so neat about the comma. Here I was the fabric behind the knee pads was also nicer here. So yeah, I think it's pretty evident that uh, I definitely have gotten better with customs. Obviously I'm not perfect and uh, probably not the best. Um, definitely not the best. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if there are any other specific videos that you would want to see from me, well, would want to see me make, um, I would be happy to make it and post it. So, if you could, leave your suggestions in the comments below. I'll probably respond to it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.